recognize it? Grace, peace, and mercy from God the Father, Jesus our Lord, and the Holy Spirit, our triune God. Pray with me, please. Father, you gathered us together again, your children. We come with hands lifted to you to lead us and guide us and direct us. Lord, uh, open our hearts and open our minds. Let the words today be pleasing to you. Let them be in our hearts. We come in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I read this story this past week about deliverance. Winston Churchill found himself at age 25 a prisoner of war in 1899 during the Boer War. Churchill was in a prison camp in Pretoria, South Africa, and he was plotting his escape. He settled on a plan to go over a poorly guarded wall, and he recruited several others to go with him. The night of the escape came, and Churchill was the first one over the wall. He waited for the others, but none came, and no one knows why. But here he was, all alone. So he took off. Well, he made his way to the railroad station and caught a freight train, even though he had no idea where it was headed. He stayed on this train all night long and jumped off the train at dawn and made his way through some high grass and swamp lands. The heat and the physical exhaustion finally caught up to him by nightfall. He needed help. As he was resting, someone passed by him in the night and he called out, By God's providence, the other man was also an Englishman who helped Churchill smuggle out of the country. When he returned to his homeland, Churchill was lauded as a hero and, of course, went on to become one of the most successful and influential leaders in the world. Deliverance made all the difference in the world for his future. So what is deliverance? Well, the free dictionary defines deliverance as rescue from bondage or danger. And some of the other words that are related to deliverance are these, recovery, life-saving, redemption, Salvation, reclamation, reformation, salvage, a search and rescue mission. Now, I've never been a prisoner of war, but I sure felt like I was in that movie in a raging river in a canoe, kind of up a creek without a paddle, if you will. You know, several heart surgeries and heart-related surgeries had to trust the medical professionals. But more importantly, I had to trust that God had a better plan for me and He would deliver me even when my thoughts were, Boy, I sure hope I make it through this one. Now, I'm quite sure that everyone here today, whether in person or watching us online, could relate their own story of deliverance, maybe from drugs or alcohol or pornography or infidelity, whatever that may be. Now, just how does the Bible treat deliverance? Well, the word deliver is supposedly used over 180 times according to one article I read. 
My guess, that number is actually quite conservative. After all, isn't the entire message of Scripture wrapped around the act of deliverance? We have Noah, Moses, Joseph, David, Daniel, and even the baby Jesus. Acts of being rescued or set free to change the course of the world. Now, you can't think of a single hero of the Bible who didn't need or provide deliverance. In the Old Testament, deliverance is focused on God's removal of those who are in the middle of trouble or danger. Of course, the most striking example of that is the exodus from Egypt. God is the deliverer of His people. Not because they deserve to be rescued, but to show His love and His mercy. Old Testament deliverance really has to do mostly with physical rescue. David says this in Psalm 54, For he has delivered me from every trouble. And this guy should know something about that, since not only was Saul out to kill him, later on his own son plots the same thing. You know, sometimes, many actually many times, the, the word deliverance is used with an act of exorcism or healing of a deadly disease. Certainly, these are godly acts, but in a very limited way. That uh, Italian Bible writer, Malachi, nobody gets that. Nobody ever gets that. Malachi. Malachi tells us of God's deliverance in the last days. But for you who fear my name, the sun of righteousness shall rise with healing on its wings. You shall tread down the wicked, for they will be ashes under the soles of your feet on the day when I act, says the Lord of hosts. Paul's letter to the church at Thessalonica reassures them that we may be delivered from wicked and evil men. For not all have faith, but the Lord is faithful. He will establish you and guard you against the evil one. And Jesus tells us in the reading from Luke in chapter 21, you will be hated by all for my name's sake, but not a hair of your head will perish. I guess we don't talk about deliverance much in church these days, and I really do wonder why. Because each and every day, we are delivered from something, even when we don't realize it. Jesus reaches out His hand to deliver us, every believer. Deliver us from harm and evil. Don't ever, ever take that for granted. It should be an everyday thing to ask for this deliverance and to thank Him for it. Martin Luther put it, pretty well when he talked about deliverance with regard to the bondage we were in. We have been freed from the bondage of sin, death, and the power of the devil. Romans 6 verse 14 tells us, For sin will have no dominion over you, since you are not under law, but under grace. And again, in Romans chapter 8, For the law of the Spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. And Jesus 
teaches us how to structure our prayers in Matthew 6. And this is the Lord's Prayer. We'll, we'll do that a little bit in a few minutes. But he says, and part of it is, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Now, the word Jesus used at that time is reume. Now, that word, now listen to this closely, that word reume means to pluck or take something out of where it is and pull it to yourself. Exactly what Christ has done. He took us out of our sin and brings us into his holy family. Now these all describe just what the Bible is all about. The deliverance we receive through the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. His search and rescue mission continues through us by spreading the good news. Deliverance is at hand. Reach out and receive. Amen.